everybody. So today we are going to be doing the throat chakra healing spreads. Um, I just wanted to say really quick thank you to everyone that has taken the time to subscribe, hit like. Uh, it's a really kind of awesome to see the feedback from you guys and those that have left comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking the time. Uh, like I said, the feedback's really amazing, especially when your spirit's kind of like, this is what you're going to do and you're going to like it. Hearing the feedback and knowing that it's resonating with you or just seeing that thumbs up really does do a lot. So I appreciate you guys for creating it in that way with me. Today we are doing the throat chakra spread. Uh, huge shout out to the Capitol. videos collectively through YouTube and I'm seeing like a higher spike in views on the Capricorns than any of the others. But I did start with the earth signs like twice already so I'm going to start with air signs this time uh, like I did the last time for the heart chakra. All of the information about the throat chakra, how to heal it, different ways to help you feel better if you feel like your throat chakra is blocked or you can get this reading and you realize that your throat chakra is blocked. All of that information is at the end of the videos, so that you guys can watch it then, you can get your reading, you can come back to it, you can screenshot it, whatever works for you. So, I just wanted to say again, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here and sharing space with me, and I appreciate you guys. Hello, Libra. Today we're doing the throat chakra healing spread. Hope you guys like it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna ask my guides, my galactic guardians, my angels, my archangels, and my ancestors, please help me to set my ego aside so that I can deliver the message that is of the highest good of all the Libras. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's see what we got with you guys. So, uh, So the first card is going to represent your throat chakra right now. Hmm. Feeling rejected. Maybe you're rejecting, th rejecting things that no longer serve you. There's, uh, yeah, you're rejecting things and terminology and verbal um, use, like verbal words that you used to use verbally that you're no longer using because they don't serve you and what you're working for. So there's like. It's almost like you're you're not saying things just in, to ensure that what you are saying is what you mean. <clears throat> what is something that Libra unconsciously feels guilty for that they need to let go of? Growth. You unconsciously feel guilty about your growth and your ability to grow. You feel guilty that you're outgrowing others. Mm, okay, so it's almost like making choices that you know could take a longer, longer time for you to come to fruition. But it's like by doing that, you're able to slow the growth of where you're going like it's inevitable either way what's a way that Libra can um, communicate more efficiently please letting go of things that are no longer 
Okay, so they're... It's like having a dream for so long and then realizing that what your dream was and what you were focused on wasn't a part of what was necessary for you to come into the dream, to have the fruition of the dream. <clears throat> so the best way to... to communicate more efficiently is for you to let go of the ideas and the, like I said, terminology that doesn't serve you and start. It's like, I know what I want to say, but I can't get it out. Like I'm literally the words are there, but it's like hard for me. So it's almost like speaking into a facade because you know that it's going to make the others like happier or like more approving of you in some way yeah that was crazy it was like it was there and then it just like pulled away from me you got to get over this libra you're meant to be great and not everybody's meant to come with you and that's okay. But, but talking into the facade, having those around you that don't have the same goals, things like that, that's going to hinder. It's not going to hinder, but it's going to slow the inevitable. And like once you get to that point, it's going to be like, why did I do this to myself? Why would I have slowed this down? Why? You're really going to feel that way. What's the best way for Libra to balance the chakra, please? the best way for a leader to balance the chakra, please? It's the best way for a leader to balance the chakra? It's the best way for a leader to balance the chakra? Okay. Having faith in what you know, holding on to what you know, falling into your faith and out of the facade. Okay, that well, was not me. Yeah, falling out of your faith, or falling into your faith and out of the facade. Rejecting, uh, rejecting every idea and terminology that doesn't serve you. You're in, <clears throat> excuse me, you're in that, that energy. <clears throat> Gosh. But you're stopping yourself because you're, you're worried about this growth as if you don't deserve it, but you do. You totally do. Are you kidding me? All right. What's going to be the result from Libra balancing the chakra, please? What's the result of Libra balancing the chakra, please? feeling like you've fallen into your perfection. Perfection. Okay, and I see this as your your inner child coming out and through. And see the, the yellow around you? That's source. Source speaking through you, your inner child, everything's connected. That's beautiful, Libra. Wow. That's really beautiful. And at the bottom of the deck, there's destiny, you know, like, you know what you're supposed to do. You know where you're headed. The only thing you need to do is stop, stop talking into a facade that, you know, isn't serving you. Reject these, these terminologies, these ideas, these goals, these people, whatever, that doesn't serve you. Because it's just prolonging the inevitable. Like, you're just putting yourself through a harder period of growth than if you were to just step into your power and to fall into your faith and fall out of your facade. All right, let's do a divine circus oracle card for you guys. Please give me a message for Libra. All right, secret of Shinobi. Number 11. Well, I'm a Libra and 11's my life path number, so what's up with that? I'm excited to see what this says. I've never gotten this. This is a beautiful card. Super beautiful card. She's really intense. It's badass makeup, too. Secret of Shinobi. Let's see what she says.
can you hear a secret? Excuse me, can you keep a secret? It's time to play your cards close to your chest. Soon enough you'll be ready to stand upon the mountaintop for all to see and hear. For now let things unfold in the guard privacy of your inner world. When the time is right to be seen in the light, you'll know what is true and what to do. Until then, be patient, be private, be committed, and wait for the time to shine. This ninja goddess brings you a message. Sometimes being less visible, less transparent, less seen for a time is helpful. It doesn't mean being dishonest or disruptive or deceptive, but it does mean keeping your intentions and your truths to yourself until you see the best way to attain your goals. In fact, the best way to attain your goals might be more of the iron fist and the velvet glove approach. You might find that gentle persuasion works far better than direct confrontation, which can unintentionally inflame a situation and trigger defensive reactions in others instead of finding a way to bring a resolution. If you have been frustrated that you are not breaking through into a more prominent position or not being seen as clearly as you would like, don't worry. That will pass, and you'll be given your time to stand up and be seen at the right time. For now, at least, you can move more freely without obstruction, jealousy, competition, or sabotage if you keep your private affairs very private indeed. When it is time to show your hand, to reveal your intentions, and speak more openly and publicly about what has been gestating, you'll know it. But for now, let things come together away from prying eyes. Just for now, it's time to keep a secret. And there's a healing trick and an affirmation. I will type that stuff up for you guys at the end of this reading. I'm sorry this is so short, but they were really pretty short and sweet. So I hope that this helped you guys, Libra, and I will see you when we do the third eye chakra healing. Namaste.